I'm not going to get this dress. I'm not, I'm not going to get it. I'm not. But the sales have started. They've started from earlier this week. I've already bought a couple of things. Oh my God, I'm stripping myself on camera. Anyway, I want to talk to you today about the things that are on sale. My favorite things that are on sale at the moment. I do this every spring, summer, and then every fall, winter. I like the one that's now because it's exactly when you would want to update your wardrobe because it's right at the beginning of summer. Perfect time to get stuck into the sales. This video is my roundup of my picks for Memorial Day. What is the X? I'm not sure what the X is. So first off, I have mentioned this app to you before. You lot probably already know which it is by now. Flipping Shop Tagger. I think it's one and a half years now that I've been using. Actually, you know what? I'm going to see when I first mentioned the Shop Tagger app on here. Anyway, there's a few things that I have bought using the Shop Tagger app, either because it went on sale or because it came back in stock. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly show you how it works, although I'm sure a whole bunch of you already know how it is anyway. Now this is in partnership with Shop Tagger. This is what the Shop Tagger looks like on my desktop. You can see I have a folder of things I'm interested in looking at. Um, obviously you can download the Shop Tagger app to your phone, that way you're on the go. You've got um, notifications with you and you can just keep adding to it whilst you're just sitting on the train. Anyway, so these are the things that I have been looking at. I've just, you know, obviously I've got it on my desktop, um, but you choose where you want to put it. What you need to do is get the button and then at that point you can just add, see what it says, get the button. You just drag it to up here. See how mine is just sitting on my browser? It's been up there for literally two years now, no lie. So that's how long I've been using this app, I think. So these are items that I'm thinking about. Look, this is um, by far bag, it's sold out. This Ghani blouse that I was looking at, it lets you know that it's back in stock. Um, the same with the blouse here from Nasty Girl that I was interested in. It let me know about it going on sale and that it was back in stock. So I was able to get that. Nobody knows about that until right now on YouTube. Um, and ditto. The same for this dress, these sandals. It let me know that it came back in my size. So you get the point. So they also have the stores listed here alphabetically. And they have hundreds of stores. And it covers all the stores that I shop at anyway. So for example you can go to say shop bop okay and i'm interested in these cult guy shoes and then you go over here and you click because this will already appear on the side save you want to save the item what size are you i'm a size 41 and then you want to um, it's black and you just want to any price change because i want to know will this go on sale in my size and then you just hit product saved and that's it and it will appear automatically in your items there that's it and now it's set it's going to let me know if it appears anywhere um so yeah i use it for when there's a price reduction on anything um when anything has just gone onto the sales um or has come back in stock those are the main ways that i use the app and yeah um, it also works on google chrome as well if you use that but yeah two years and still using the same bloody app all right, so these are my favorite things that are currently available at the time of recording this video that are on sale. Now, I skimmed. I didn't pick, obviously, a whole bunch. I just wanted to cherry pick some of my favorite things that caught my eye. I'm going in no particular order. I'm going to bounce around from different categories to different stores because that's kind of the way I shop anyway. Um, first off, I'm going to focus on uh, four dresses that I saw on the Nordstrom. Is it four? Yeah, four, four dresses on the Nordstrom website. Um, three of them are by Reformation. OG subscribers, you know how much I love a good Reformation dress. Now, I saw three dresses. They are all midi length. Could you know I like a good midi length? This is, this is midi length. <laughs> God, the way I show myself is ridiculous. Um, so one of the dresses I saw is, and I'll put the discount for it here or here somewhere down here so you'll see and this dress is called the abigail yeah the abigail long sleeve dress now i love this dress because it reminds me of my top shop dress because i have a dress that's polka dot long sleeved high neck midi goes like that you know check 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 but the back is a surprising part because it has like this keyhole back I love little details like that. 
Reformation is usually a brand that a lot of people like, but we avoid it because the price point is pretty high. Um, obviously, they are one of the trailblazers as far as sustainability is concerned, um, and I love them for it. That's one reason. And the second reason is because they do damn good classic clothes that just last. They stand the test of time. I have dresses from Reformation, as you already know bust them out every year and they still get compliments. They still often rival any new dresses that I come, that I get from other brands. They are that well-made and they are that nice in person. Um, it's funny because a lot of people don't realize that Nordstrom has Reformation, so that's FYI for you. And another one that I saw, a Pippa midi dress, and it's got a similar neckline to mine. It has like a very square neckline. If you want to know about my dress, it's linked below, by the way. Um, it has a square neckline, which I am very much into. Um, it's got little sleeves, you know, that black. It's just a simple dress, but it's that neckline. It just opens you up there. And I think if you're like quite fuller chested, I think it's just a very flattering thing to see here. It almost reminds me of like, not like Joan from Mad Men, right? Remember how she was like really like full blust, full blusted, voluptuous figure. Like, oh, mm, you know. Oh God, anyway, her, she, I could see her easy in a dress like this, but being it was shot like what, 50s, 60s, she would probably have like a pencil skirt version of it. But this upper half, that is all Joan. Another one is the Winslow dress by Reformation. It's got these beautiful like simple cap sleeves, especially good if you hate your upper arms because it just sort of stops around here and a flattering dress crossover here, good for a lot of shapes. Um, this would look fantastic dressed down with just like a pair of flat sandals, gladiator sandals, uh, tethers, which are very in and I love them myself. Uh, Birkenstocks, same thing. Um, or just a pair of strappy heels. I think this is nice enough to consider going to like an evening summer dinner um, or summer evening event, but you can still dress it down. So it's a really versatile piece. It's a universal style that doesn't go anywhere and I love it. Or even a pair of like um, wedges, cast, you know, like castanet espadrilles. That would look brilliant with that. There are other dresses on sale from Reformation and other pieces, um, but those are the ones, like I said earlier, that caught my eye. Um, I will list any additional sales I see down below in the description box, so definitely check those out, and I'll probably add as well to my uh, description box over the next day or so. I'll just keep refilling, like going back in and editing and adding to that list, because I can't add to this video as I'm talking to you, but the description box I can. I saw this dress by um, Ariel from Something Navy. It is this gorgeous uh, polka dot dress. The whole polka dots, white, the, the cut of it, it just it's, these are effortless dresses. It's why I'm drawn to them. I prefer them more than shorter dresses, um, as you can see. I just think they're just really, really timeless and it was on sale. Good enough discount and style of dress for me to go, hang on a second, I like this dress. Oh, another item is, let me see, where did I see this? This is, oh, this is on net porte This is the stowed, the top. I actually have this top. It's somewhere in the house. Anyway, it's this one on the screen. That by Stowed. Is it Stowed or like Toad? This top is on sale on the net porte site. By the way, their sale is fucking, sorry. <gasps> Their sale is really good. Buttercup yellow top, and it's a blouse, with this, and I like the fact it's v-necked, and it's got like this ultra sort of puffed um, full sleeves, and that's what really drew me to it. It's just the contrast of that deep V and the puffed uh, sleeves. It's such um, a contemporary take on the full sleeve blouse. So, um, oh, and sizing. Um, I wear the US 8 actually in it. I could probably wear the six, but I took the eight because of my arms always go up a size so that's something to keep in mind as well i would suggest that you can if you want to get this okay now moving on to top shop i told you i'm literally going to bounce all over the place i saw three things that caught my eye on the website and one was their satin skirts i mentioned the satin skirts didn't i remember in last week's video if you've not seen it i'll oh, it's a flipping doorbell it's the, UP... it's the ups guy hold on it wasn't for me, it was for Michael. Um, satin skirts, I saw this one um, and it was on sale from Topshop. As I said before, my five favorite things from Topshop of all time, I talked about on last week's video. Look at these, the f look at these, the birds on the bot, the birds on the bottom, look. So if you have not seen that, 
have a look below. But I do mention, I give an honourable mention to their satin skirts that they came out with, I thought it was this year, but they actually came up with them at the tail end of 2018. Um, and that's why I threw in this one, because they actually have a few of them, I think, on sale. But I like this one because of the colour, that baby pink colour is beautiful. It's just such a flattering colour. And I think it'll look so nice, like contrasted with, <laughs> I would so rock this with a pair of cowboy western boots. Oh God, I think that would look so nice. Anyway, satin skirts, Topshop, love them. Saw this one on sale, had to throw it in. And then on Topshop, there is this um, wide leg jean. Look at the price of it. It's $20. I thought that was a typo when I saw it. Anyway, I thought that was fantastic. I own a pair of wide leg jeans from Topshop. I don't know if it's this particular um, cut or name but it's similar to to mine anyway it's very similar to mine and I think they just they just work really really matches. well so, anyway for matches fashion now they have I actually like matches fashion sales because I like to go on their website anyway because I think my Loewe puzzle my stone blue that I bought from um, matches fashion to year-round discounts that they offer I want to say they drop them about every one one every three months and it's like three hundred dollars off like the puzzle bag I just used it whacked it on to get that and I got it at a discount um they have the Gaddy boots have my look let me show you my oh well excuse me while I nearly fell over some shopping that I've not shown you a lot which is for another video um they have my Gaddy boots now I don't think it's the same color my ones look um, a little bit brighter than theirs, but this is just to show you what it looks like, the boot looks like in person, um, but they've got it on sale and it also is available on, I can't remember the name of the website, but it's also available, I'll put it on the screen, but there's another website that has the same boot available on sale and it's in a beautiful color. This stunning like toffee, toffee chocolate brown ombre glossy mix. It is just, look at the pictures. This, isn't this gorgeous, right? So that is also available on sale. And if I did not have this, these ones in this color, this is the one I would get. My Ganny leather jacket up there, the fringe one, that is now on sale. It's obviously one of those pieces that is each to his own because A, it's white, B, it's got fringe on, which was, I think was seven, six, but that's still a lot of money, but I've seen leather jackets that go for like north of that, like over a thousand. This one was gifted to me from Net-A-Porter, so that's for full disclosure. I love fringe and fringe jackets anyway. I own, I used to own a black All Saints one with fringing, and I used to love wearing that one. Suede vintage one, again, with fringing on longer. Actually, I've got two, and I have another one. I'll see if I can put it on the screen. I love fringing, I'm a fringe girl, so I wanted to share that with you. The quality of it is really nice. It's very, very thick leather. To me, it, it looks more expensive than what it is because the leather is so thick um, and the cut of it is more like um, almost like a button-down shirt if that makes any sense oh these are gorgeous I saw these two blouses actually it's one blouse I saw this blouse I said where's it on sale I think it's on matches fashion in this gorgeous look at this it's eyelet beautiful eyelet and uh, I'm just gonna stop at eyelet because you know how much I love that anyway I love that high Victorian neck and then that ruffle, the standing shoulder. This is really pretty to contrast with. I would team this with like a midi skirt or with a pair of jeans. Just pick your favorite jeans and I would team this with it. I just think it's really, really nice um, blouse and it's not usually on sale. So it's a nice time of year to get it. Because... Oh, at the time of recording this video, I always have to say that because during this time of the year, everything just starts to fly. The Maguchi Marmot, the blue velvet, the cobalt blue one, that is on Essence. Is it Essence? S Sense. Essence. Anyway, them. I was surprised to see it. I was like, oh my God, there's my bag. And it looks like the exact same size as well as mine. I didn't do like a measurement thing, but I was looking at the picture of the model wearing it and it looks exactly like how mine looks on me. So if any of you have been interested in that bag and have considered it, um, it is available for a little bit of a discount. I thought, let me just share it with you because it's worth keeping for later on when the fall hits. So you've got that yummy velvet sumptuous bag that you can like sit there and just do like that. Like I do, I just sit there and just sort of stroke it every now and then. Okay, so the next thing is my Ganny wide leg jeans. Now they're on sale, the black ones. I love those. Again, those were um, gifted to me from net a -Porter. Beth Jones, you know, ever since, I think it was last summer, I have had, I have had my eye on those 
bloody ganny wide leg jeans so i've always loved them um and i just oh, i just think they're great anyway they're on sale the reason i never pulled the trigger before and bought them was because of the price i was hoping to find them just on the discount on the sale i checked the real real and bestia collective i never saw them and if i did it was the wrong color it wasn't my size you know the stars just never crossed and aligned so i was very fortunate that i was able to get get, get a pair gifted to me but these are on sale so this is the moment that i would have bought them myself so at the time like i said of making this video there were at least three other sizes available so if you like them as well this is the chance to get them because that's when i would have got them too oh yeah this is gorgeous um i saw these castaner espadrilles now you lot know i love Cast castaner espadrilles i own them in a couple of colors actually three um but this red i would wear that red with this dress why Tell me why I would wear that red castanet with this dress. It's because of the red. Red in here, the poppies, it picks up on the, oh, that looks so pretty. I love that they're all red, like all red. What is it, 91, I think? Oh God, I love, oh, somebody just get these castanets. They're comfortable. Um, I wear them in the 41. I wear US 11, UK 8. So there you go. Um, and US and I wear 11 in uh, Topshop shoes as well and uh, what else can I tell you so you got an idea of referencing um, I think that's probably enough right for you to lot go on oh okay so I forgot to mention to you lot regarding bags um, my stowed bag is on sale now I'm going to put this in hold on just stay there you can still hear me I'm going to put this in the video because um, I have had some of you like DM me, like ask me a couple of questions about this bag. What do I think of it? Karen, I'm thinking about getting it. Um, again, this is a full disclosure one. This is the last one um, from Netta Porte because they gifted me three pieces at the beginning of the year. The jacket, the Ganny wide leg jeans and this bag. So it has um, a mirror on the inside, which is really cute. Um, and it just, you heard that, that snap magnetic closure. It's nice and heavy, it's like a reassuring weight. And I just really think it's such a beautiful, like dinky little bag. Anyway, this bag is, look how I like it with this. This bag is currently um, on sale for 40% off. Reminds me of a vintage bag, but a really like contemporary version of one. So there's a few of the stowed um, bags in general, not just this style, which are also included in the sale. So I thought that was a good one to include because stowed to me is like, um, it's like Rixo, it's like um, Ganny, it's like um, uh, Faithful the brand. It's like, uh, by far, there are certain designer brands that have emerged in the past couple of years. And I feel like they've done a really good job in going after people like me. Um, who are looking for something that may be it's a designer brand, but it's not north of a thousand, you know, where it's like it's a Gucci, it's a Chanel, it's a Louis, it's a it's a Dior, you know, it's not that. You don't want that necessarily, at least not price point, but you want something that is really special, unique, maybe it's influenced or has an aspirational look that is vintage or a throwback era of the 90s, which by far is really good at. That mid-tier um uh, range of brands which have emerged and I really like them. I think they've done a really good job of coming up with um, sort of very contemporary designs on everyday pieces. Oh, this dress is gorgeous. I thought it was by Mara Hoffman, but it's called Gaia. It is gorgeous. Oh, I love this. It's the Cult Gaia Simone textured, Simone, Simona textured jacquard dress. I know this is nice, isn't it? I know. Anyway, it's on sale. It's gorgeous. It's got pockets. I just noticed. <laughs> I just noticed the models like this. It's so pretty. Look at the detail. Sorry, I am here. I'm just looking at the details. Oh, look how it goes off the shoulder. Oh, it can go both ways. I didn't. Really, oh my god. Sorry. I just went through the web a website so quick, um, but I didn't realize. It does, it goes, oh, look at that. It also goes all the way down off the shoulder. Oh, look at the back. Oh, don't tell me that it's not a gorgeous dress. The way it just sits like this, like this dress on the shoulder and then off the shoulder straight. And you can pull it down a bit more and then look at the back of it. That is, oh. And then the, 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 you know, the, I'm not going to get this dress. I'm not, I'm not gonna get it, I'm not. 
when I choose things for my videos or for my blog and I'm like showing you things that's on sale or just things that I'm rounding up that I'm loving at the moment, I always pick things that make me feel the way I just did. Things that just are, I pick, it's very instinctual. I'm picking things that I really like um, as well as things that, um, at least for me, are missing in my wardrobe. So that's why I sort of get tempted when I share with you what they are because they are things that I actually personally do like or have. Um, anyway, this dress is beautiful, but those sleeves are absolutely stunning. Oh, that's, anyway, anyone going to some nice summer event thingy, whatever, this year, I would suggest this dress right here. Sorry, tell me my Instagram, Karen Bridget, if you do get them, because I really, I honestly do like to know who's got what, and if you wear them, I'm such a nosy bugger, um, when you do wear them on Instagram, can you just tag me, just tag the photo, or, tag me in the description and put you know what i'm going to go with the hashtag karen made me do it because you lot started that hashtag and i'm going to keep with it karen hashtag karen made me do it so i will know that you you know it's a way to search that hashtag and we can all see each other and see what we bought from the sales perfect moving back again to stowed um if any of you have liked the beset bag the bucket bag i have that in the croc finish it's available right now on sale not in the croc but in the smooth brown chocolate brown color um and i usually find that it's always the less um versatile colors that go on sale but this isn't this is a color that's much more wearable especially in the fall and in the winter this this brown rich color is perfect but even right now because i find that brown is such a softer dark complement to summer clothes versus a black bag which is, tends to be heavy um, in this particular style it's on sale it's 30 percent off so if you've had your eye on the stowed beset bag i had my eye on it for a little while before i caved and got it and now i have it and i love it i've had it for i think a, a year is it a year or over a year i feel like it's just over a year now i've got this bag it no one can actually get in because it does have a drawstring closure i remember about two years ago now remember the top shop my top shop bucket bag I got that bag because I actually wanted this bag, the stowed beset. So I didn't get it because I didn't, I don't think I could afford it at the time. And um, I didn't know if I wanted it that badly, that shape. Um, so I thought, let me just get the Topshop one because it's really cute. And I wore that thing to death. I wore that to the point where the rivets on the handles unscrewed and the bag, and it actually fell on the ground. But I invested in the stowed beset bag and it's one of my favorite bags because of its simplicity. This video, if you've watched this video to this point, I have no idea if this is still going to be available or not. I hope it is. Let me speak really fast. The, um, the, let me go get it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here. This bag. It's in the sale. 40% off. Yeah, 40% off. Anyway. Just go and pause this video and have a look. I've got the description link, the description link. I've got the link for it below. So this is not gonna be there by, I don't know, Friday night, Saturday morning, definitely. Anyway, who knows, it might be. The fact that it's on there. If I see other colors as well on sale, I will list them below. So don't forget, when this video is over, have a look at the description box of all the things I've mentioned, but I'll also mention other things on sale that I just didn't have the time to just talk about in this video. And I'll try and come back, like I said, um, over the weekend, because the sale is going on all the way through, probably till Monday. And I'll come back, just come back, and I will update the description box with all those things as well. Let me see if I should put it on my shoulder. No, it doesn't look good like that. Wait, I'm gonna end my video there. Those are um, just a few of the things that I've seen um, on sale during the Memorial Day weekend, um, bank holiday Monday. Some brands that um, I wear and they haven't started at the time of this video to um, include their sales. One is And Other Stories. That's a good example to use for Shop Tagger, the app. Just go through And Other Stories. If there's any items that you've got your eye on, just go through and just add, just add them to your folder in Shop Tagger and just put where it says any price change. Watch, it's gonna let you know as soon as And Other Story sale starts, because I don't know when it's going to start, she'll send you a phone alert or a email. So you're gonna be the first to get that thing. Um, and I'll see if I can put some on my Instagram stories as well. I'm not sure, maybe the odd one or two, because sometimes when I've seen something that's either back in stock or, you know, I just put it on my Instagram stories. This is a quick, like, one-off. But that is my lot. I'm not going to talk any more because I keep waffling on. Um, I'm probably going to do a, Do I do a vlog next week? I think I'm going to do a vlog. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Point is, I will see you lot next week standing around with my yellow... Oh, look at this. I even love this together. Look how... Look. 
That's so summery. We're in this together. I love this together. I love this together. I'm really sorry. Have a really brilliant long Memorial Day weekend. Um, I think in the UK, isn't there a sale this week? Isn't it a sale? God, Freudian slip. Isn't it a long weekend in the UK as well? I could have sworn it was. Anyway, does it matter? Wherever you are in the world, if you've got a sale, if you've God, I've got a sale on the brain. If you've got a long weekend, enjoy it. If you've just got a weekend off, enjoy it, regardless if it's long or not. Give this video a thumbs up if it helps you a little bit with some of the things that's on sale. You can follow me on Instagram between this Friday and the next Friday's upload. Hashtag Karen made me do it. Tell me what you get in the sales. I want to be nosy. I want to know what you got. I don't want to be nosy. I am nosy. Let's correct that. I will see you lot next week. Have a brilliant weekend, whatever you lot do.